Hello folks, this is Aitan Ajha from InspireToRise.com and today we have the Asus X555L laptop here with us for a full unboxing and review of this device. So let's just unbox this laptop without wasting much time. So it comes in a very neat Asus packaging as is visible over here and uh, this almost seems like a briefcase. I was uh, I used it to transport this device to many places in the few days that I had it for and inside you have the in search of incredible uh, the Asus tagline and apart from that what else do you get inside the box inside the box we get the usual AC uh, adapter and here's the extension for the adapter both of them can be used in order to charge uh, they have to be connected to charge this and you get a small cloth in order to uh, save this uh, laptop from scratches and uh, other things and let us just take out the laptop itself it's a nice device big device and apart from that what else do you get you get some paperwork for example you get the notebook pc guide etc Asus in search of incredible everything else written over here and here's another guide of the same type and also you might get the warranty card and something like that so apart from all of this there is nothing else extra inside the box this was all inside the box so the X555L laptop is quite a looker in terms of overall uh, finish as you can see over here let's just show you a little bit more in detail so the finish really feels nice and uh, but one of the bad things is that it is very much fingerprint prone so this glossy finish on the outside gets a lot of smudges and fingerprints you need to keep a cloth handy in order to clean this every time you use it so let us just open this up the whole thing and let's just see how is it on the inside so when you just open this up and let us just show you the keyboard and everything the keys on the asus x555l they are okay enough they have good tactile feedback but when you start typing for example when you start typing everything you can hear a lot of noise so that's one of the bad things it's not a silent keyboard though it provides good tactile feedback but it's not a silent keyboard and uh, apart from all of this the battery life of this device was amazing before the windows 10 update we just did a windows 10 update and we found out that the battery life which was around five to six hours has reduced to around two to three hours so uh, it is the case with almost every laptop that we have used till now and apart from that it does not get warm even while playing games it's warm up to an acceptable level and the sound is really great on this laptop so this was all for the initial impre initial impressions and in the later part of the review we will show you the 3d mark test and apart from that we will also push this device to its limits so let us just now uh, show you everything on that on this laptop so we just upgraded it to windows 10 and uh, it took a lot of time and windows has really streamlined the process but still it takes a lot of time and effort to just upgrade your devices to windows 10 and so the laptop has an intel core i5 processor with two cores and four virtual cores and apart from that it comes with an internal uh, ram internal memory of 8 gigabytes and the internal storage is one terabyte and it's a 64 bit processor so everything about this laptop is visible on this page and let us just close this page and run something that we know as so we just run the direct text dialog box and to show you more about the inards of this uh, whole uh, computer so let us just focus more on this so what else is inside so you get intel core i5 5200 cpu uh, at 2.20 gigahertz it has around 8 gigabytes of ram and apart from that let us just go to the next page and show you more stuff about this so it has intel hd graphics 5500 on the inside and apart from that the laptop comes with a 2 gigabytes nvidia 9200m chipset which is a really powerful uh, gpu and let us just show you more nvidia geforce 920m so it comes with around uh, 2 gigabytes of internal ram the gpu 
and speakers okay everything else okay let us just now push this device a little bit and we will just play a game that we have over here gta 5 at almost maximum settings to just see how far how far can it go one of the things that uh, just one of the things that people should keep in mind while using devices like this is that when you are running in the balanced or power saver mode you won't get the whole performance of the device if you are really gaming or doing stuff always switch it to high performance mode in order to get the most out of your uh, computing experience or gaming experience so let us just now move forward and just we are just waiting for the game to load up so it started after a whole gap of around 4 minutes 37 seconds and this is a really heavy game in terms of overall uh, graphics quality and everything 60 gigabytes of game data and uh, let us just uh, show you more so we would just push the graphics to the maximum possible limits and then we will work out something so right now we have uh, around 1313 uh, one almost 1 gigabytes and above memory used and let us just push everything to the maximum possible settings So the game began this time around and everything has been maxed out. So as is visible right now, everything maxed out, graphics maxed out on this laptop. It is barely playable and let us just uh, steal someone's car in order to show you the lag. <laughs> so right now, if we just push the resolution a little bit more uh, less and uh, if we just uh, switch all of those very high settings to normal or high the game becomes playable again so the police just assaulted me for no reason and uh, i just even got a wanted level it seems no i didn't get a wanted level so they just assaulted me for no reason i just keep getting pushed around even in real life so this is a really nice thing no mother this is not a really nice thing let us just steal someone's car and show you uh, the overall lag when it comes to driving cars in the game so the laptop was able to push everything up to the point of uh, playability while we were doing everything uh, while we were doing it around later but still right now it's not able to pull it up let us just see how far does it go right now we have ignored all limits and we are just pushing this device to the maximum and it, it is uh, beginning it's not that much heated up till now it's still okay enough but the game is not playable the frames per second are really below even below 10 frames per second so it's okay enough but not playable so let us just make this game playable and we will show you when it does become playable you just need to push the graphics a little bit down and we will show you Achha, we haven't pushed everything till now now by pushing the long shadows and everything we have pushed the overall details so now is the time that we have really pushed the device just out of the park and this is the lowest FPS that you can get on this laptop by just pushing it up and I guess I can feel something burning no nothing is burning but still the game is not playable so as is visible GTA 5 can even kill a really great machine with 8 gigs of RAM and uh, a 2.2 gigahertz processor because it's a really heavy game so this was all but still in the maxed out settings this laptop is respectable as it was able to do something so the laptop that we have over here has an LED display and right now the game, <laughs> the game is really playable upwards of 30 frames per second after pushing everything back down to normal the game is entirely playable no heating at all 
and I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. So uh, this is I get mauled over again by a police car. So I just think that they have some grudge against me. Okay, let's let's just keep this aside and uh, I will just steal someone's car and show you how it's running right now. So performance is good even while uh, even while driving a car there is no visible lag and uh, as you always know that uh, I have a really bad hand in games so even right now everything is running fine so the game is entirely playable this is upwards of 30 frames per second nothing like 60 frames per second but still if you push the texture and everything's quality to below normal settings and if you really push the resolution to 1280 to 720p HD then you can even achieve something of around 40 frames per second or even more than that so that's really respectable for a laptop like this and this uh, Asus X555L retails for a price of 49,000 rupees it's an okay device in terms of battery life it's a great device in case you don't upgrade to windows 10 and in case they iron out the minor bugs that windows 10 has so let us just switch this off and show you something else so apart from this what else can you do in this laptop uh, you can do heavy encoding in this laptop we took around 30 minutes to encode a full HD file uh, which was around and which the resulting file came around 16 gigabytes it took around uh, 30 minutes to encode the full file and the video clip was of a duration of 12 minutes so it was okay enough in uh, because uh, when we when in the past we used our systems and everything like that we always got a really we always used a lot of time just in rendering and everything so that was really fast enough on this device the LED display is good enough the overall performance mix is really great on this device and as you will see in our benchmark tests and everything that the overall performance is okay enough and uh, the device actually does pack in a lot of power when you uh, think about the fact that it retails for 49,000 rupees so guys we have started the benchmark tests and uh, the 3d mark tests primary tests are running right now uh, it would include a lot of benchmarks developed by asus uh, msi nvidia and all of the other companies related to graphics so you can see it all passing by really fastly and uh, one of the few things about this laptop that uh, you would not like or maybe like is that uh, all in all it seems a really uh, big laptop in terms of the keyboard and everything placement and the 15.6 inch 1366 into 768 display feels really good enough the brightness is good enough but in case you are using it in a really bright condition then uh, in, a, in a really sunny day then it might be on a little lower side but all in all when you are using it in a very uh, normal environment like your home etc then it would be just fine for you and uh, apart from all of this let's just uh, move forward to that part wherein we show you the final results of these benchmark tests and we have just fast forward fast forwarded through almost around uh, one hour of stuff for you so that you can easily see it so guys we ran the 3d mark test uh, the primary test for the 3d mark test and uh, so this these are the scores that we got in all of the different modes the fire strike 1.1 got us a score of 1040 and uh, one of the bad things that we found in the test was that it could not recognize the NVIDIA GeForce 920M graphics card. We guess this is a diverse issue and in case the graphics card would have been recognized, maybe we would have gotten a really better score because uh, somehow it feels like that the internal, uh, G the internal uh, graphics processing unit has been used the intel graphics 5500 chipset and not the not the gra nvidia geforce 920m somehow it feels like that but still these are the scores for all of the different uh, modules iStorm, cloud gate and and according to the benchmark results uh, it says that this score is uh, better than 7% of all results and not even in the category of a notebook even less than a notebook uh, according to this it says and uh, uh, even lesser than a gaming laptop or a gaming PC and uh, nowhere near a 4k gaming PC so it says that the graphics card is a generic VJ card with memory of 2048 MB and no SLI or crossfire and uh, so it says that the driver name is NVIDIA GeForce 920M but still it could not recognize the every, uh, everything about it and the secondary graphics card is the Intel HD graphics 5500 with uh, no memory allotted to it and uh, the processor is Intel Core i5 5200U processor with a uh, 
number with uh, dual core and uh, let us just go ahead 2.5 uh, gigahertz and we are running 64 bit windows 8.1 and the computer has 8 gigabytes of ram so uh, that is really great in terms of overall performance and uh, in terms of overall specifications but the overall performance did not come up as good as we, we might have wanted it to now let's just see the outside of this device and how many ports and everything does it have so here's the laptop it has a power and port LAN port the VGA port HDMI port two USB 3.0 and uh, it seems something like a micro SD or cable slot or something like that let's just push it forward and it's somewhat heavy and here are the speaker grills on the below let us just show you something else here's the slot for putting in the SD card the 3.5 mm jack and here's another USB port and in case you didn't notice it has a DVD writer also this device has a DVD writer so all in all it's really great in terms of that comes pre-installed with Windows 8 and these are all the self declarations here's the cooling vent and I guess this is for removing the battery in case you really want to do so we don't really want to do so Oof. so it's heavy and uh, all in all it's heavy and it takes a lot of fingerprints but still it performs so it's good the keyboard is good everything else is okay enough the power button placement is okay the hinge design is something I like on Asus laptops it does not have two hinges over here rather it has a centralized hinge which makes it a more sturdy laptop and the overall feel of just putting your hands and typing is good but the sound is really great on really too much on this these uh, laptops these models that Asus has come up with and the touchpad feels great works okay not as great as that on the MacBook but still works good and that was all for this device and who should buy this device this laptop is for people who are professionals who just want a heavy working laptop who just you can just flip it out anyway and do any of the heavy rendering and etc stuff and uh, in case you just uh, are content with windows 8.1 the battery life is great enough so guys that was all in all for the asus x triple five l review by aitanaja which is me from inspiredtorise.com don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel in case you want us to do something else with this device to push it even further you can just drop it in the comments and we would be more than happy to do it for you so guys keep rocking stay inspired to rise.